ni address obina kidogo hapa haina shida obina sita kusalimia tutaanza tu hivyo kienyeji we na jo uliko umetumwa na najua watu walikuwa wamekutumwa kuje uambush kioko juu hizo swali zenye uliko unauliza kioko kuhusu manzi wa kibera you, they had been written down for you Unaona kukuja kuchukua kioko ati unamwambia unamleta show ya kula kula badala umpe fooda kule aende homa ameshiba Even, uh, watu walikuwa nasema it's mungai eve that made us know you do you think that people knew you through mungai eve Let me tell you first first thing first Mimi na mungai eve i was famous and i had views more than mungai eve In short mungai eve alinipata kwa industry Sema that I could play role like like kuna ile kuna ile kuna ile time walikuja kwa nyumba yako hata hakukuja hata na askari ya 30 na niliona ni kama li, was it viombo ama what she bought and came in with it yeye ni after sasa ku feel guilty hata first of all acheni niambie hiyo story ya viombo ilikuwa haya tukisonga mbele red card yangu ndio inawapea club appearance I, unasema ali apologize vitu waziko cancel Cancel uh, word apologizing cancel. Nichulia nini? Hakuna miss kwa apologize. So, uh, how do you think your fame has helped you? My fame Generally. has helped me on between you and pretty. Because I saw a certain voice note pia nikaona kwa TikTok. What is really uh, going on between you two? Imagine me I was minding my business, I was living my hectic life, huh? my stressful life alafu naamka napata kunguni nono inanitaja taja i'm like kichwa wako ni kubwa kushinda super drum inatoshea wig ngapi tuanzie hapo hmm? mm -hmm. mwili yako imejaa kama mattress ya 6 by 6 utatoshea nyumba gani kila siku unalia Kenya are trolling me Kenyans troll her until she commit suicide. Wambo, uh, niko na swali ya mwisho eh. Utauliza sana maswali moja moja mpaka asubuhi eh. Unajua tutapatana wacha ni exhaust sai eh. Ukipewa one chance mm -hmm. ukuwe president wa Kenya for only one week. Utafanya nini? Ho. Oh. Mimi kama manzo wa Kibera nikipewa one week kama one month. One week. One week. One week niko president. Yeah. Hey, vice president ni wajakoya. <laughs> Vice President ni wajakoya every day. <laughs> Moshi state house. Chimni 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 <laughs> daily. Ya pili. It's Martin Dean Kenya and welcome back to this top channel. Just in case you are new here guys consider subscribing. Always remember to pray because it is only through prayers blessings do come. Thank you so much for your support. Ah uh, nimepatana na big woman. <laughs> Manzi wa Kibera for a long time nilim host I think 3 three, three month 2 month eh? There. Yes. So tumepatana tena ameniambia anataka kutuacha ah, very very sad. Wee. So atakuwa anatusalimia tuambie akoaje alafu tumalize. Unafikiri watu wanataka na wanani kama nakufa guys? Mm -hmm. I'm here to disturb you until the end of the show. <laughs> mm. How are you? I'm good. No, no, I'm smart. Wow. Imagine kawaida wetu watu wa ghetto. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Watu wa ghetto. Mbona hiyo jina ghetto na Imagine watu wa ghetto tunahanga hivi. Imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no masana. Otherwise how is life by the way, Ambo? Life ni ngumu. Mm -hmm. Tuko karibu kukaa Sri Lanka state house ndani. Mm -hmm. Uliona wenye watu wa Sri Lanka walifanya state house? Niliona wali bomb wali ingia. Atikuba mama walijibamba. Walijibamba mtu. Wakalala kwa <laughs> walichafua swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, life Kenyans. Follow me for more information. Wow. <laughs> hey. <sh>. Anyway. <laughs> Wambo ah uh, okay, life inakupelekaje? Naona umengara uchumi na manisha wewe uko sawa kabisa. Mm. Utafanya Aumi. watu wa. Aumi. He, naumia kwanza uko ghetto. Mm. Maisha akiwacha tu. Mm -hmm. Ni venye tu sometimes unakula ugali na sukuma au una stress unanona. Eh, unakula ugali? Na sukuma na unanona jo una stress ya sju rent ya 6k sju rent ya 10k rent ya 1500. Kwanza pos, waambo unakula ugali. Na sukuma ama na sturungi. Ah, hey. nakuliza. Chisos. Unakula ugali. Jibu Imagine. tu. Imagine. Eh, hey, nakula ugali. <laughs> Basi mm. wewe ni sauce. 
Jesus. Juu. Masasi ndo wanakula ugali sasa hivi. Juu ati ni 250. Kwetu inaanza kupimwa 30 bob. 30 bob. Mhm. Ama ni ile kwota ni 30 bob. So unapima ile kwota. Mimi mimi kwota unitosha. Unless kan kwa na mgeni na buy 50 bob. Mhm. Noma sana. Wambo aniliona uliniambia very very soon una tu una una okay. Una tu una tuaja juu watu na wana kana meza. <laughs> Unaenda majuu eh? eh ebu tuambie uh, ulifanya videos kitambo kidogo ukasema about the going to Germany like those kind of stories and saa hii uliniambia passport iko ready ebu tuambie yeah. more about it Yeah so guys nimekuja hapa na habari njema niko mm-hmm. na announcement It has taken me six, five months mm-hmm. kupata passport mm-hmm. Si ati nilikuwa mlezi or sikuwa yenda mm-hmm. kitu yenye ili happen ni wote mnajua story yangu but wacha nirudie juu mnajua kuna watu wajaisikia mm-hmm. mimi nimezaliwa ghetto mimi nilizaliwa ghetto na wazazi lakini wazazi wakapasa waka so nikachukuliwa na mzungu nikarudi nikiwa around 15 16 mm-hmm. so unaona nilipata mama amekufa na aunti zangu hawakuwa responsible juu sana mtu akikufa amekufa unaona mm-hmm. hawakuwa shughulikia imagine hizo miaka mama alikufa 2000 hadi wale wako aichukuliwa death na unaona hiyo death ndio my document mm-hmm. imagine ili, ili bidi niende mpaka mocha nitafute ndio maana nime take like mocha ili take one month kutafuta nini ya mama sikukuwa na bath mm-hmm. ikabidi ni shughulikie bath mm-hmm. mimi ni wa dini ya kiislamu mm-hmm. lazima niende veti Unaona hizo zote ilikuwa process na ilikuwa inatumia do mm-hmm. Unaona ndio maana nili take time but si mmeona tu kusema kweli mwisho nimepata na bado ndio safari imeanza imagine tunaenda airport imagine tunaenda airport si wote <laughs> hey Ebu ni kulize uh, maybe hiyo hiyo safari ya kuenda ya kuenda Germany uh, maju eh mm-hmm. like uh, how, like ilikuwa successful aje Okay ilikuwa nini deadline ya kwenda maju ilikuwa mwezi wa sita na ilikuwa nimeambia Kenyans. Mm-hmm. So huyo dem mwenye alikuwa nipeleke maju akakuwa amepatiwa pressure. Mm-hmm. So akatafuta mtu akampeleka which nasikia vibaya unasikia hata voice yangu ime change. Mm-hmm. Akampeleka but kitu yenye mimi najua ni I'm still going like mimi na travel naenda. Mm-hmm. Siwezi kosa njia unaona. Udema alipata mtu akampeleka job nafasi yangu ikaisha lakini mimi ni waambo na mimi bado nda travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Okay, my question was uh, mm-hmm. ilikuwa aje success, successful story like na, like unani amechangia sana kwa hiyo story. Honestly mtu amechangia sana ni kioko juu Huyo na nini huyo Eve tuliendanga wacha ni mwite huyo Eve. Huyo Eve tulifanyanga interview mingi but mimi hakuwa inisaidia. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Kioko ali ndio alinifanyia interview moja na nikaend up nimesaidika. Unaona? Baka nikapata gadil. Unajua nilipata gadil juu ya Kioko venye unaniona hivi. Eh, alifanyanga. Nilipata gadil ya mse fulani alikuwa anani support hizo hizo to rent food. Hiyo ni deal definitely jua mimi mwenyewe siko poa unaona. So, nime survive like 40% na jina ya Kioko. So Kioko ndio napatia all thanks, all respect. Na niki travel Kioko lazima nikuletee bag full ya nguo, viatu, vest za yellow na kuletea kila kitu ya yellow, mm. wakamba na yellow. Mm. Mm. Ebu tukibaki tu hapo uh, umeongelea story na Nicholas mm. eh, na nikiangalia kuna video ya ya Oga Obina mm. alikuwa anafanya story pale na Kioko mm. na akauliza story akauliza story ya hiyo hiyo cinema like anasema cinema ni, ni aliuliza Kioko about the cinema mm. sijui alikuwa cinema mlikuwa yes. mepanga na yeye mm. ya yeah, Ebu to tell us more about that First first unaweza ni accept ni address Obina kidogo hapa haina shida Obina Sita kusalimia tutaanza tu hivyo kienyeji. Wewe na Joe uliko umetumwa na najua watu walikuwa wamekutuma kuje uambush kioko. Juu hizo swali zenye uliko nauliza kioko kuhusu manzi wa Kibera, you, they had been written down for you. Unaona? Kukuja kuchukua kioko ati unamwambia unamleta show ya kula kula badala umpe food kule aende home ameshiba. Unampea food hata hujampea time akule. Ushaanza kumjaza na story ya manzi wa Kibera. Ni kama show is about manzi wa Kibe. Kula kula show is your show, not my show. Unless you want to change the, the name, uite manzi wa Kibera kula kula show. Unaona? Badala upea kioko food kule aende home. Wewe una mpea food alafu unaanza kumjaza stress. Hatio kipindire I'm like Ogaobina, stop what you are doing. Wacha ku sacrifice bloggers mwingine 
for your own goods unaona mm. usi sacrifice mwenzako ufurahishe hii mbogi kio kwa amenisaidia mimi personal ndio anajua chenye mimi na kioko tumepitia ndio nipate passport unaona na mimi na travel na nafuata ule demo wako mwingine umesikia mambo za kuleta gakio kwa kwa kwa, kwa show yako kumuoji oji chorea hizo story hizo story azibambi mm. we mm. kitu pili next time don't bring my topic to that show tuheshimiane me i don't come to your show don't bring my name to your show okay and respect kioko cuz kioko has played a part in my life sawa tuheshimiane mm. mm. nilikuwa nataka uguzie hiyo story yenye maybe before uguzie obina nilikuwa nimekuuliza maybe tell us more about the okay on according no how uh, kioko alijibu hiyo story eh? mm. alisema that ilikuwa the true story of which we ulimuita na okay the first video ilifanywa na Mungai Eve. Mungai Eve akuja kwa nyumba yako akafanya the video right? And uh, maybe tell us maybe do you think there is something that went wrong during that time? Kitu yenye ilikuwa unajua ukiongea ukweli definitely kuna watu wanasikia gavi baya cause maybe you're the the lies is what is putting them where they are. Unaona? Kitu yenye ili kioko venye ali blast my story kuna watu ili wa affect they were riding side of my story hapo ndio chuki ya kioko ilianzia unaona kioko yeye he doesn't know anything unaona like huyo kioko ni innocent mna mna sacrifice kioko for, for nothing kujeni mimi mni sacrifice call me in your show obina ask me those questions umesikia sio kwenda kumuita kioko na muuliza story honestly za kum, za, kum, za kum sacrifice unamsulubisha mbele ya mafans unaona si poa respect people kioko amefanya ngamba kwa watu wenye hawakuwahi nijua wakanijua watu wenye hawakuwa najua nataka msaada wakanisaidia msaada nilikuwa nahitaji mbona mnakuja mnamwambia kioko vitu zenye amfai kumwambia sijasikia poa ubina honestly you should apologize to kioko in front of everyone call kioko kwa hiyo show mpatie sahani tatu ya chakula apologize wacha kioko aende home usimuulize maswali wacha kula shibe apologize aende home mm. tukibaki tu hapo eh uh, kioko alulizu waka ayu willing maybe to do another video with Manzi wa Kibera mm. akasema no no and i can't mm. does it mean that you guys maybe there is something hidden no see hidden mm. unaona vanya kioko ali make your story ika expose vitu kuna watu walikuwa na handanga kioko wanamwambia wacha kufanya hiyo story ya Manzi wa Kibera inatuchomea unaona sasa i think pia kioko aliingiza gabaridi akaona juu ina kani kama story inavurutaniwa wacha pia mimi nijito But mimi kitu wenyewe naweza nataka kukuambia kioko mimi sina ubaya na wewe sina story na wewe kwa hii dunia kuna kuanga na step unaona na maybe step yenye umefika maybe you you don't need other people like me maybe where you are going maybe you will lead me i don't know but as for me all i say i really need you and everybody else outside here i really need you okay whether you do my videos or not I am your friend for good for life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. Na tukitoka hapo kidogo umesema that uh, <coughs> kioka alifanya watu wenyewe kuwa na kujua kakujua right? Mm-hmm. Na maybe on the side of uh, content creation watu wengi sana watu wa wili umework now closely sana mm-hmm. na Eve. Mm-hmm. Uh, mimi niko na swali uh, of which nilikuwa naona tukifanya video na wewe uh, there were comments that nilikuwa nafuata nikasema tukikutana na wewe nitakuuliza hizi maswali yeah, right yeah. and i have a question for you mm-hmm. do you think uh, the, at, uh, at some point nani mungai if really played a role in your life she has never played a role in my life all my life mimi ndo nimekuwa nikijianga ikiana contents na everything yeye alikuwa anakuja na kamera ana set ana shoot anaenda na content mimi naka chini nafikiria content unaona so mimi ndo think tank hapa she never played any role the role she played is coming from her house to my place afanye video arudi na content aokote pesa ataokota that was the the role she played honestly eh hey. So remaining Mimi kuna role mtu ameplay kwa life yangu isipokuwa kioko ndo nikapata passport. Mm. Mm. Ah uh, umesema kuna role amecheza kwa uh, maybe kwa nini yako. Akuna. Na tukiangalia that most of the people even uh, watu walikuwa nasema it's Mungai Eve that made us know you. Do you think that people knew you through Mungai Eve? Be- Let me tell you first. First thing first. Mimi na Mungai Eve I was famous. 
and I had views more than Mongai Eve. In short, Mongai Eve alinipata kwa industry. Unaona? Yeye mimi ndo nime boost Mongai Eve kufika penye alifika tukawachana. So asiende kusema alinisaidia and it is the opposite. Mimi ananisaidia na nini? Jumi alikuwa anakuja na piga makeup na vanguo zangu unaona. Kila kitu ni yangu mpaka nyumba ni yangu. Sasa alikuwa ananisaidia. Hajai kuja na shopping, hajai nipea 500, hajai nipea 200. She has never given me even one bob. How did she help me? Nowhere. I helped you. Have millions of views, have millions of shillings in your account. That's all. Na mimi bado niko high. Sasa ati nimekufa. Bado unaona bado hata haga ni big. Haga bado ni big, eh? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> hata imeongezeka hata last time si kwa hivi. Mhm, umeongeza. Kabisa. Take back hapo. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Eh, Corona virus. Hapana. Mm -hmm. Okay, tukibaki hapo eh. Mm -hmm. Umesema that I could play role like like kuna Aku ilo, kuna ile kuna ile time alikuja kwa nyumba yako. Hata hakukuja hata na askari ya 30. Na niliona ni kama li, was it viombo ama what she bought and came in with it. Hiyo ni after sasa ku feel guilty hata first of all acha niambie hiyo story ya viombo. Ilikuwa pe fans wake but ile guilt as in ushaona ile guilt juu tumewak na yeye nimekuwa na wedding ajanipea ndio akaamua kunifix but hizo utensils they were meant for her fans unaona ni ile guilt ilimshika akanipea hizo viombo juu ju honestly wezi fanyia mtu hizo content zote na amefanya wedding na hata wezi mpea hata bahasha ilikuwa aibu kwake sasa ilibidi achangamke mm -hmm. eh na vipo <coughs> zenyata nimeosha zimepasuka bado sahani mbili na vikombe mbili Vijiko nilimwaga kwa kwa mtaro bila kujua na maji ya sabuni. Mm. Mm. So ima swali nilikuwa nimejipangia ni kuuliza kwa sababu most of the fans walikuwa nasema Munga mm. Eve amekusaidia kwa kuroi. Na nisaidia. Sasa mna ni force niseme nimesaidiwa na Munga Eve na Jai nisaidia. Mimi Jai nisaidia. Kiokondi amenisaidia kwa maisha. Mm. Mm. So tukitoka hapo kidogo eh. Uh, niliona <coughs> sorry Niliona about uh, kuna Mimi nilisema ndaenda na ni wewe unakakuenda. Nilisema <laughs> 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 kuna story nilifanya na your manager mm. uh, akamlikuwa na issues kidogo of which hizo issues ni saina muona pamoja. Okay, how did you guys solve and coming together? Maybe ni sijui naweza muita but unaweza nijibu. Ni yeah, mimi naweza jibu pia naweza kuja. Okay, before that eh, mm. ulikuwa na vile vile mlikuwa a partner yeye, eh, mm. kulikuwa na so this huyu wa uh, nyama versus food eh? mm. mlikuwa na yeye uka announce watu kawaambia what this is my new manager alichukua 1 million yake na tuka tuka, tuka cancel contract mm -hmm. alichukua pesa yake but tunaona bado ndio mimi i'm mm. still i'm still the baby mm. Mm. Okay for now unataka maybe manager akam kwa sete atuambie akam kwa sete mm. for you tuambie like muli solve mambo ebu manager kam huyo ni otile huyo ndio mwenye hii mali <laughs> Come, come inside, come inside. Nataka mkuwe karibu. Sasa hii tuna work. Tuacha hapa. Eh, una una force. Una force relationship. Nataka nishike hii mic. You are forcing relationships. Eh. Ebu uko vipi? Niko poa bro. Songa tu mbele kidogo. Eh. Mimi niko fit bro. Atulif nilikuwa namuuliza swali about una feel aje by the way una feel aje kuwa na hii mali. Ah, okay, mimi na mambo sasa hii tuna work tu. Mna work tu? Eh, tuna. Kuna mambo mengine? Eh, tuna work. Oh. Mm. Sasa niko na swali eh. Tul, tulifanya na wewe interview karibu one month ago. Ukasema that I'm um, pamoja and there are issues za mtoto mli solve. Eh tulifika mahali, tulisolve hata kuna watu walitukalisha mm -hmm. na tuka solve everything. Mm -hmm. eh, because unajua nafika ngama mahali lazima sort mambo ya life yako. Huwezi furahisha audience mama ma fans mm -hmm. na wewe labda kuna kuna mali unafinyika mm -hmm. so i'm glad to resolve tuko hapa amepata passport visa next week mm. no, no, hata kwa manzi wa maju hata mm -hmm. alisema atafungua instagram mingine ya manzi wa maju <laughs> alafu ya kibera anakuwa mm -hmm. kibera kirudi huko mm -hmm. mm -hmm. alisema ni kibera baddest kibera baddest <laughs> noma sana uh, oga alikuingilia kidogo akasema siji ule anavanga vesta kingi hivi siji kwa uliona hivi aliniingilia wapi <laughs> and watch your video ya oga bina yote utajipata hapo ndani 
Oh, ebu nikulize swali eh. Ah, uh, hiyo ilikuwa tunataka kufahamisha eh. Jua maongeleo gaubina nikakumbuka hiyo swali. Okay, uh, for now umesema mna work to. Okay, since um murudiane pamoja, like mwanze ku work pamoja. What is the best thing you guys have achieved? Uh, since tuanze kwa pamoja number mm-hmm. one, tuli manage ku rebrand vizuri. Mm-hmm. Uh, ume notice of late manzo wa kibera yuko around sana mm-hmm. so tuliacha mambo za eh, aliacha mm-hmm. mambo za cloud and all that mm-hmm. another thing yenye nata ku clarify mm-hmm. if mungaya kianza kufanya udemi interview mm-hmm. tulikuwa na vibe poa walikuwa na kujamta tunapiga interviews tunaenda tunakula chapo pamoja mm-hmm. tulikuwa mabeshte unagera hata wame tu inviting you home kwa mara mob mm-hmm. But siku yenye hivi alifanya manzo wa kibera interview ya nyumba hiyo interview haikuwa ya manzo wa kibera nataka usaidizi ilikuwa ni kujeni muone mali naka mm-hmm. this is my house mm-hmm. una get so nicolas vile alikam baada akafanya interview mm-hmm. wamba ali break down kwa interview but vile ali break down kwa hiyo interview hakuna mali wamba alisema ati anataka nyumba poa Mm-hmm. Una get rudini kwa hiyo interview munionyesha hakuna mm-hmm. kuna maluli sema unataka nyumba poa huamba alisema juu amefanya catering na kupata job Nairobi ni ngumu mm-hmm. alikuwa na suggest kama anaweza pata job opportunity abroad juu huko alikuwa anafanya kazi na kidogo mtu ashamwambia manzo kibera so al- alikuwa uncomfortable mm-hmm. so vile watu waliona hivyo apart from kumwofa solution za passport visa pia waliofa kumsupport na story ya hao. So if na Trevor wali feel ni kama una get wali feel yeah, some type yeah. of way but like mimi kitu moja nataka ku make clear hata tu Ogaobina if akifanya story ya wambo ya nyumba alikuwa na kam kuona mali wambo na ka. You get that was the agenda. Niko vile alikam pia alikam kuona mali wambo na ka but wambo li breakdown akasema by the way kama ni help mimi mtu anisaidie tu na passport na visa ni safari. You get. So unaona in a way na feel wamba li apologize to Eve when actually I fake to apologize because ana apologize ya nini. Like hakuna mtu alikosea msa hapo. It was very simple Udem alikuwa anataka travel which alipata chance na niliambia Udem tu kienda majuu Mungu akubariki kwa milionea bilionea usoi sao Nicholas mm-hmm. but i remember okay. time tulikuwa na yeye aki apologize alisema um, of of in case in a case of anyway eh, like mm-hmm. uh, nili, nilienda maybe a slide nikafanya makosa mm-hmm. ama apologize so maybe unasema ali apologize vitu waziko cancel cancel oh, word apologize cancel nichulie nini hakuna mimi siku apologize so kitu kitu tunaeka hapa simple ni uwezi apologize na ujakosea mse mm. una get yeah. wewe umekuja kuniona mali naka nyumba yangu ni mbaya umekuja kuniona mtu mwingine amekuja kuniona mm. but kwa discussion tumeenda up nisaidiwe na passport mm. wambo atakuwa amekoseaje hapo mm. you get so kitu inapena hapa ni Uh, manzo wa kibera na Eve Mungai it was 50-50 mm-hmm. una get mm-hmm. Eve alipata subs manzo wa kibera alikuwa popular mm-hmm. una get at the end of the day kama wataamua kuwa friends mm-hmm. ama itakuwa life has to go on exactly. una get because manzo wa kibera kienda majua kwa milionea itasaidia Eve na nini wapi hakuna mm-hmm. aya Eve Mungai akienda nunue Range Rover nunue chopa akwe na 1 million mm-hmm. subs inasaidiaje wambo so at the end of the day ni watu wakae chini wajue hii kitu ili happen hivi na hivi na ni hivi mm-hmm. but kia, kama pia watu waezi ka life has to go mm-hmm. ah, true. simple true. Mm. so your story hiyo story hata niliona kwa ogobina and ogobina kitu ina happen ni anafani tena udem to clarify hiyo kitu mm-hmm you get but as 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 ni kama ana play ana play team flani ni kama anasema eh hey, ilikuwa hivi mm. ilikuwa hivi mm. don't that light like you are sure mm. you are sure should not be based on he said she said yes una get show yako ni unaleta mtu unaleta mtu kama uko na story unamwambia ni aje ni hivi na hivi butuambie mm. 
So ni hivyo but apart from hiyo manzi wa Kibera mm-hmm. kuna red card mm-hmm. kuna watu wamekuwa kusema eh manzi wa Kibera na kutaka club na kutaka api mm-hmm. so i think mimi naweza excuse mm. yeah mm-hmm. uko na congratulation naona vile umeingia mku respecta kanyamaza ah, mm-hmm. <laughs> songa songa hapa tumalizie uh, wambo uh, tumemaliza hiyo story na tumemaliza maybe tukiingia kwa story nyingine niliona kuna what is really going on between you and pretty because i saw a certain voice note pia nikaona kwa tiktok what is really uh, going on between you two imagine me i was minding my business i was living my hectic life huh? my stressful life alafu naamka napata kunguni nono inanitajataja manzo kibera this manzo i'm like e industry Unaishi sababu ya mtu. Umemshikilia hivi unamnyonya una damu kama kupe. Unamnyonya sifo sivo simple boy damu kama kupe ndio uishi kwa hii industry. Hmm? You are a parasite a bed bug who is drinking other people's blood to survive in this hectic industry. Hmm? Ati unaenda unaka chini na huyo ogaobina chakula ndio ilikupeleka kwa show yake jo ulikuwa na njaa njaa yako ulipeleka kwa show ya obina si ndio ulikula chakula ukashimba ukakunywa maji badala uitisha uba uende kibera umeka na jina yangu wigs zake zidanuka sijui i'm like kichwa wako ni kubwa kushinda super drum inatoshea wig ngapi tuanzie hapo hmm? mwili yako imejaa kama mattress ya 6 by 6 utatoshea nyumba gani kila siku unalia Kenyans are trolling me Kenyans troll her until she commits suicide get her in her place okay what mm. nini sidamaniza sidamaniza si hmm? this this gunia of mindi ha huh? nitakugonga kama gunia mindi imekauka itoke hiyo mbegu ya juu nonsense hatuna jira kibira finest mimi ndo kibira baddest ulinikuta industry na utaniacha okay na si survive na mtu na hata wao stevo simple boy na mdai by force by fire mm. nitachukua wao stevo by force by fire mm. yeye ni boyfriend wangu apende akose kupenda ana ni date haya sasa nikuulize umeongea hayo yote lakini ujetuambia grudge imeanza kivipi Nimesema I was minding my business, living my hectic life, living my stressful life. Alafu naona kunguni nono. From nowhere inaanza kunitaja taja. Hmm? Alitaja akisema nini? Kati manzo wa Kibera wig zake zinanuka, simtambui. I'm like, mimi mwenyewe sikutambui. Hmm? Sura una na kutambua na nini? Ah? Wewe mwenyewe unakaa socks za Masai zimeparara. What can you tell me about? Hmm? Look and aspa utolewa hiyo ngozi yako inakaa ni kama inakaa ya elephant take shower uwe ni mchafu hata kale uso wako ni chafu enda uoge umesikia after that pitia gym ukae fit sio unakaa pa kama lenge unaniona mimi nakakaa wewe mimi niko na shape umesikia nonsense nyi 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 wambo wambo ni nini wewe unaishi kibira line 7 mimi naishi kibira 42 tunapatania wapi use your brains don't use your big body nonsense we mimi si Kenyans and Kenyans wacheni niwaambie unaona u dem sai venye tunaongea madini classic anatumia pretty kukuwa famous kesho kesho ata release wimbo hata ifiki 20k per day 20k ya dems ni mkubwa kama wewe ufiki. Umeona wimbo zako zime flop za Kiswahili, umeendea kwa Pretty. Look, enda wimbe Ragaton, zitavuma. Nonsense. Huyo Pretty sasa ni nani? Who is that? Atienda unatafuta kiki. Mimi ndio kiki, umesikia? Na mimi niliachaga kupiga kiki Kenyans. Hata mnaniona venye nakaa. Na kama ni kiki mimi ndio queen of kiki, sawa? You can see. Na bado nikipata okay. pesa naenda surgery. <laughs> Pretty vision I'm going body surgery for you. Uh-huh. You will never like me. Mm. Ebu ni kuulize wambo. Uh, Tukimalizia naona umekasirika sana. sana. Uh-huh. Ni maybe um, um, manager ameongelea about red cards. Maybe ebu tuambie about your rating cards. Songa tuku kidogo. Mtu akinitaja kia Mungu, akia Mungu utaharibika hii Nairobi. Mm. Haya, tukisonga mbele. Mm. Red card yangu ndio inawapea. Club appearance ni 100k 1 minutes. Nimesema 100k 1 minutes. <laughs> 
Selfie na mama fans wa club 20k. The whole club selfie moja wakiwa hivi rende 20k. Mbogi. Mbogi ni 20k. Club appearance picha. Mtu mmoja hivi ni 5k. 1 minute. TikTok watu wangu wa TikTok mkinihitaji mimi natafuta 5000 ku make TikTok. Mkitaka nikuje na nguo na makeup ni 30000. Nikikuja uchi na bila makeup ni 10k. Haya, kuna watu wa selfie, normal fans, 10k mkiwa mbogi, mtu mmoja ni 5k. I hope mmesikia. Pretty wish ukitaka tupige pita 100000. <laughs> 100,000 bila kucheka bila kunini eh. Eh nimecheka juu. Eh 100k. Anatamani Pretty wish utamani sana kunimi. Tunamiwa nimemkazia sana. Na wezi ni meter unless you pay me. Na appearance nimesahau kuambia. Appearance ni 250k per night. And to have me as your wife 1.5 na naosha na nafua na napika. Mm. Hiyo inamaanisha your wife like a day wife Uni, baka night, na kuchumi, night, baka na we call it hmm? we call it nine, 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 night stand um, what what's night stand what's night stand wife <laughs> one day one wife 1.5 million okay noma sana <laughs> ebu ambo tukimalizie niko na questions mbili za mwisho eh uh, umeongelea about everything maybe kama kuna kitu naacha nyuma nikumbushe kitu unaacha nyuma <laughs> Au niulizi mbona sitafuti pretty nimlete hapa ndio mtaandike mbele hii kamera. Mm. Uko na machungu na yeye sana. Machungu? Niko na machozi. Machungu hata unavumilianga. Niko na machozi like na mwagika amuoni. <laughs> Niko na swali wa ambao tukimalizia eh. Mm. You are okay. You are you are how do you think your fame has helped you? My fame General. has helped me. Finally my help my fame has helped me na travel but before ni travel nataka tu mnifanyie heshima Kenya mzima mchukue siku moja mweke holiday mimi na pretty tuwekwe pale nyayo tutandikane after hapo mvote nani the kibira finest Ah uh, wambo uh, niko na swali ya mwisho eh. Utauliza sana maswali moja moja mpaka asubuhi eh. Unajua tutapatana wacha ni exhaust sai eh. Ukipewa one chance mm-hmm. ukue president wa Kenya for only one week. Utafanya nini? Ho. Oh. Mimi kama manzo wa Kibera nikipewa one week kama one month. One week. One week. One week nikue president. Mm. Hey, vice president ni wa Jakoya. <laughs> Vice President ni wajakoya every day. <laughs> Moshi state house. Chimni 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 daily. Ya pili. Wednesday na Saturday ni holiday for Kenyans every week. Hmm? Every Wednesday mnapelekwa Mombasa na hizi magari kubwa kubwa mabasi. Na every Sunday jioni mnarudiwa mna, mnafika I think Kanairo asubuhi the whole of Nairobi na tukienda huko watu wa Mombasa wanaletwa Nairobi three days wajibambe hivyo watu wa Kisumu eh mm. watakuwa na kula samaki mara nne kwa wiki free of charge tilapia mm. si china thing tunafika every Sunday kuna chefs 50 with the food and everything for every Kenya. Mnaona venye watu wa Sri Lanka waliingia state house. That is how we are going to live. That is how we are going to live. Last but not least, niki kwa president. Every day lazima mkuje mnichum the whole country hapa. <laughs> Every day. Mnanichum kila mtu ananichum ama picha yangu yekwa. Every Sunday mm. tukiwa na Hi. share every Sunday Ke- Kenya breweries every Sunday wanaleta lori sita wa ya tei every Sunday Kenyans wanajibamba na moshi every day mm. chimni chimni <laughs> no masa alafu wajakoya ndio vice eh. wajakoya the fifth mm. mm. ebu ni uh, ambia ma fans wako the last thing na pia wenye your manager whatever everything everyone sorry 
So, uh, wacha nianze na fans. Fans mm-hmm. nawapenda sana. Siku nimepotea. Si nimewaambia nilikuwa na shughulikia passport. Mm-hmm. Now we are good. We can fly. Niko poa nimerudi and nobody is taking my eh? Pretty fish uja trend. Umeisha. Nimerudi. Pack your things and go home. I am here. I'm the queen. Haya. Second but not least. Ha? Huh? Manager, umefanya kazi safi sana. Lakini eh ah, 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 nimesema lakini mm. <laughs> lakini, <laughs> lakini. <laughs> no ma sana we've been hanging up with Manzi wa Kibera anasema yeye ni Manzi okay the Kibera baddest eh na sister ya Kibaki achunge maisha sana mm-hmm. sister ya Kibaki chunga maisha sana acha tungoje comeback comeback ya nani nitamtandika jaribu kuni reply mm. mm. So guys for this time we are saying goodbye until next time to Namaliza